What is happening, guys? Welcome back to Tales of Arise Beyond the Dawn. All right, so I went through and I made some modifications to our arts. I grabbed some skills, nothing too much. I raised some critical rate for some more allies. I also boosted Shinon's healing abilities a little bit, so maybe she could heal a little bit faster. And I also boosted Rinwell's spell uh, casting faster magic charge. So we're going to see maybe if she can cast magic faster because her charge takes quite some time to do. Uh, but her powers are very powerful. So if she can charge faster, that's probably a good thing. Uh, but other than that, we are good to go. I also made some modifications with my set for Elfin. We're going to try out Eternal Devastation for a little bit. I think that might be also a cool one. And we also picked up Thunderous Devastation for an aerial attack. Uh, with the flaming edge of searing gale so we're gonna try that see if uh, we can try to get this progression to uh, 500 uh, flame strike needs to be 500 to be unlocked to be able to unlock those proficiency arts so that's what we're gonna kind of try to grind to yeah and i was curious i pulled up my xbox account to see what i had on that character i have all those proficiencies all the way leveled up and everything it's ridiculous how powerful that character is <laughs> I wish I could just find a way to port him over, but no, I don't, I don't think it's possible, though. I mean, I, technically, I could just go on Nexus or something and download a complete save file, but uh, it's just, that's a lot of work to have to then report back into the game and figure out the save Is it okay junction. Is just ignore those snake eyes? It doesn't seem like they're aware of us, so I think it should so, be okay. We'll just continue they're grinding with this character. Jump out from behind us or anything. Uh, why would you say something like that? This is probably gonna be off, right? There's a teleporter. It'd be a lot easier if we could jump straight to the inner. Okay, uh, so. Area. Man, I'm famished. Let's uh, clear out one room at a time. A lot. That's usually how these mausoleums work. Two ways here too. This way looks like it's a dead end, so let's go to that one first. Surprise! There's no zoogles yet. Damaged and connects to a cave. We can use this to get further inside. I wonder if we can get back to the mausoleum. There seem to be damaged areas throughout the complex. Let hmm. Let's hope they're connected to one another. Well, this looks like progression, though. That's just the thing. Uh, let's go check the other way first, then we'll come back for this. Because that definitely looks like progression. And I want to make sure and grab any armor first on the other side of this. So we go down and straight over that way. We already went through... Is there a door up here that we went by or not? Nope, that's all closed off. Okay. That was the only thing we missed. Yeah, if you've never played a Tales game, it's important to check out everything when you go through these dungeons, or mausoleums, I guess they're called, uh, because they give off, you know armor for the characters that is very important because otherwise you really don't get armor in this game uh, and that's very important to keep your character alive as you can progress on especially through harder bosses and whatnot so yeah if you don't explore you really miss out this is really a game where you have to explore the nooks and crannies but if you're coming from a souls background you're already too. used to doing that Looks like those outside they don't seem to be controlled in any way uh, let's test our difficulty here, see how good we are with these guys. Do I have to adjust anything? Yeah, I do like it. Yeah, I like Eternal Devastation. Oh, that's much better damage. 
Oh yeah. Critical damage was a lot better too there. I'll crush you! Lightning reflexes! Tenebrous There's always room for improvement. Yeah, the critical damage was so much higher. I, I, I mean, I spent like 1,200 points on that upgrade, so it was it was quite a bit. It was a gamble to see if it was going to pay off, but man, it did. It paid off real well. Yeah, I noticed it immediately, the damage increase. Oh, this guy's big. What do you got for me? Let me see what you got. Looks like trouble. Capital T. No, no boss here. Oh, one of these invisible ones. Damn it. I always Bring me back, she known. Safe when we've got you in front of us. Hell yeah. shabby if I do say so myself not bad at all than the power I can conjure alone that's for not sure. bad at all but I do think we do definitely need to pop a pineapple gel be very smart was that a compliment okay so we need to go through I always get turned around in these places we go back. Okay, wait, where did we fight? Okay, we found that thing back here. Yeah, this will take us back into a different area. Can we run by you guys? Upper surface correction layer. This place is pretty small. But we're back in that main room now, I guess. Oh, this just goes back down. See, that's what I mean. This game is a maze. Oh, but there. Oh, there's a reason to, though. This right here. Okay. I don't think we can open this yet, can we? So Doors tightly shut. Doors even Alfin can open. Oh well. Let's find another way. You have livestock that reach maturity. I guess I have to get back to a merchant merchant to be able to check that out. Okay, so we went through that way. Make our way down this way now.
Past you dudes. How did the Cal Basil guys get through? We already went left, so let's through go right. Without being attacked by the Zoogles. Chest Maybe up there. Maybe there's a safer path, like that door we couldn't open earlier. Let's go up first. Surprised I was overrun by that dude. I feel like an Xbox. You didn't have to get very close to them when they triggered all automatically. I'm glad that's... Well, maybe that's just where they fixed it, you know. Maybe that was a patch they did. Oh crap, this guy's coming right at me. i run right around him. I like that a lot better than being able to just run by these dudes. I'm gonna pop this and jump down. I is the Tanner. Looks like some solid equipment. Nice, who's that for? Ooh, nice. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's I don't think we picked up any more. Haven't. We picked up any for her yet. We have no armor for her. We must have missed that in the first mausoleum. Because usually you get more in each mausoleum. Okay, so now let's go. Since we went up there, let's go down. There's two pathways to go down actually here. Oh shit, there's a lot of people here. Or Zoogles, not people. Definitely not people. Damn. It's shining. We'll take it out because it's shiny. Elixir, that's good. Yeah, let's take this shiny one out. I've got a really bad feeling about this. So much for sitting this fight out. That wouldn't be a good thing. Don't leave it. In an instant. Impact ball. Recite the flame. And again. I'll crush you. Lightning reflexes. Ten of red I still got a ways to go. It's going to take us into a new area over there. Everyone here's wearing a mask, too. No response. It's like they can't even see us. This is creeping me out. Let's get going already. Dead end. Oh, here's a shortcut. I think this is for the... Oh, no, wait. Maybe, I thought it was a shortcut. Maybe not, though. Apple. That's all that was back here? Just apple? Nothing else? Damn. Apples don't even heal that much, either. But I guess they could be used in cooking, though. Oh my goodness, this is a huge ass labyrinth. Oh my gosh. Huh? Is that? What could this be? A new type of barrier? Damn. Be a device somewhere to disengage the barrier, fight it, and shut it down. Get more of the same astral energy in this area. Well, so we have to find this gate to turn it off to fight the Zoogle. Strong looking Zoogle has been captured. All right. Uh, so, that's a new ob objective to do here. 
Trying to figure out how to disengage that barrier. Here, I was hoping we could just use like an art to do it, but oh wait, maybe right here. Nice, that's easy enough. But it puts it right in front of our eyes. That must mean the fight's gonna be really hard. <laughs> Where'd that Zoogle go? Oh, right there. All right, let's uh, take on the Zoogle because there's definitely something behind him we want. Actually, could... nah, <laughs> I'm just gonna try to steal it. <laughs> Mega Wrecker. Level 83. This thing's gonna be hard. This is gonna be hard. Sleep. Man, that was a lot of combos I got there. Shit, Renwell and Law just died. Uh. I'll bring you back from death to this. Not on my watch. Heal me, Shion. Come on, Shion, heal me. Why are you not healing? Um. Well, I need to heal some, otherwise I'm. Gotta break that core. There you go. Don't let up. What a ring, Shion. Be careful not to overdo it. I'm sorry. There's a core. Now it's broken. Got his core back, man. Let's take out that core. Oh, a little off. Take that core. Heal me, the Chion. Thank you. Crack that core. This one's mine. Crack that damn core. Now you see what I can do. Yeah. Let's go. Nice. Hey, anyone else think this might be a touch too dangerous? Supreme Shield of Jailus, a guardian shield that gives unparalleled power to the righteous, not even be held by the unrighteous. This 
Ridwell's right. Is that for regroup and try again later? Ending round bucks. A rod with the last weapon of battle. We got yeah. I think that is actually equipment for No, it's not. Oh wait, here it is. Yeah, that is the shield. Oh wow, that's a cool looking shield too. Damn. That's cool. Um actually I'm gonna put she doesn't have any other armor, does she on? Nice, a brand new rod too for Nice, because we didn't have, we weren't able to craft those or anything for them guys. So pretty cool that they're they've got some stuff now. Um, I want to change her outfit to match that shield. Ooh, I like that. Let's do that. Some good equipment. I can't say its appearance is to my tastes personally. Okay, so that's good down there. That's where we came in. Wait a second, did we already check in this room? This was that room where we found the apple, I think, right? Nope, there's something else. Rapid meat. More supplies. Dripping water. Be a trap, maybe? Oh, it's a... Oh, special zoogles. We found a special zoogle. While extremely rare, special zoogles have been spotted in each nation. They seem to lurk in well-hidden locations and have defeated a world large amount of SP and rare herbs. Ooh, nice. We found one. I thought it looked suspicious, that room did. Oh, it's nice. They damaged. They're pretty weak. How strong can a slime be? <laughs> Where'd he go? He's fast. What? what? Linwell, how'd you die? Now or never. I still got Radiant the fight. Here. Right on it. Blue away. Dearing flame. Reload. Raising flame. Back into the fray. Fire. 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 I'm going to need to use all the power Dude, of my Dude, what the arm. heck? She only just got raped by this thing. Um. Okay, she only has like one HP left. She don't heal yourself. Dude, what the hell? This thing hits like a truck. Bring me back. <laughs> this thing is ridiculous. It's so small that I can't even hit the thing either. You know what? I'm gonna take on. I'm gonna be a mage here for this fight. Shino's dead. Oh, we gotta watch out. Looks like this one's mine. Like hell it is. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> uh life bottle for Shion. I'll bring you back from death 
Bring me back. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You don't watch out, you get wrecked. Only I've been more careful. This can't be happening. No, don't die. Yeah, I need to go to And I need to bring them back. I can't believe we the slime is kicking our ass, man. There, I think we got it. You okay, Rinwell? I'm oh my fine. gosh. Uh, uh, actually, I'm not doing so good. Yeah, you, nobody is after that. We got our ass kicked by a slime. Like, literally. <laughs> I mean, I, I watch a lot of isekai anime, you know, and there are some slime animes that they're really OP, so I get it. But man, dude, holy shit. We got wrecked. We got completely wrecked. Alright, what else good things can we find through here, I wonder? That was just a little first level of this, man. This is going to get crazier. Okay, so we have a locked door, I'm sure. More people that... basically have lost their minds. Well, not lost their minds, but they're kind of trapped to their own willing. Doors tightly shut. Hmm? Wait, someone's there. The blazing sword? What are you doing here? One of the snake eyes not wearing a mask? So an enemy? Wait, I don't want to fight. Pretend you didn't see me, please. What's going on? Why aren't you wearing a mask? Th this used to be our base. Then they took it over. They? You mean Cal Basil? Yeah, them. They appeared out of the blue and put those masks on everyone. We fought back, of course, but the kid leading them was too strong. There was nothing we could do. Nazamil. The My villain art continues. totally changed once they were wearing those masks. They joined the other side. It was terrifying. I found a chance to escape before they could put one on me. A sudden change of personality. Sounds like those masks exert influence on the mind. One more thing. How can Cal Basil travel safely with all the Zoopals around? There's a special passage. Thing is, it only opens if you're wearing one of their masks. Should have known. So, what do you say? I don't want to get captured again. Not after all that. Fine. You can go. We should go, too. We have to find Nazamil. So the villain arc continues. All right. That's going to be where we go next, I'm guessing, right? Uh, before we do that, though, there's a room over here we missed. No, wait, no, we were here. Never mind. Never mind. I'd wondered how Nazamil managed to create an entire organization so quickly. So she used the power of the masks to take over the Snake Eyes. But why would she control people like this? She's a villain. It's that easy, often. Open your eyes. Always have a keen eye. Yeah, let's just fight these things, I guess. Oh, it's just one at a time? Oh, nice. That was easy enough. crushing it out there! Uh, 
Yeah, it looks like we're gonna take on these guys as well. Like it. Okay, never mind. How big is this area? Oh, this is a pretty big area, isn't it? Kind of question marks to check out. Uh, looks like. Yeah. There's this one back here. I'm gonna take out this one. That's why I said we wanted to dig out that one first. There's water. Those things I, I know. Anything that conjures water is a disaster in this game. You remember the first playthrough in the base game of this? Searing Gale is. Searing Gale is pretty awesome. Yeah, that's a new one. That's cool. I can feel my precision improving. An underground waterfall. What are we doing on proficiency? 448. Nice. We're making good. We only need like 50 That's more points. Mm. We have 52 hey, more points to be precise. Silence. No particular. 52 more points and then we'll have enough to get our no flame hey, archery. Seriously. That's actually a sweet one. <laughs> Burn strike. Too easy. That wasn't even enough to burn off a snack. I'm always open to have something a meal. I'm Ancient cloak. That's gonna be some. Uh... Nice. Pretty sure that's just a you thing. Looks like we can swim across here. I don't like getting my clothes wet. I guess this is no time to be fussy. So we got stuff over to the left of us. They guard? Oh yeah, they're guarding stuff. Bubble chest here. This will be a delicious piece of cake. Oh shit, damn, that's... Yeah, definitely heal. Shit, I need... I keep, keep getting shocked. These little ones are hardly worth our time. 
It's two of them out. Unbreakable Mercy, Steel Dress Armor, yeah, that's for Xion. Astral Flower. Okay. Let's go over to this corner. Have this fish as well while we're over here. Oh, a new type of fish. This might go well in that new recipe. Can't wait to see what you make. You're the one making it. That a ladder? That's a ladder. But before we take the ladder, let's go see what else we got over here. I know it'll be fine, but I'm always hesitant to let the blazing sword get wet. I told you, don't worry about it. Our sword will be fine. Our sword? Hmm. How things change. What's that sound? I think it's coming from over there. Let's take a peek. This place. Is this where they make those masks? The people wearing them seem different from everyone we've seen so far. Xion, wait! Do you see us? No. What can I do for you? Oh, maybe they do. She got through. What are you all doing here? What are you trying to accomplish? We maintain this facility to mass produce and manage suppressors. Our goal, of course, is world peace. Suppressors? That must be the proper name for those masks. So, it's a tool to subdue the wearer's will. Wearing one makes you a doll, an empty shell. That's their idea of peace. That is only the initial stage. Interference from the wearer's will creates conflict with the suppressor that must be compensated for. Eventually, the mind is calmed, and a harmony is reached between the two. Then everyone becomes the same. What do you mean, the same? We mean that we all share the same values, the same thoughts and ideas as the reigning visage. Our minds are calm. We have no conflicts. In other words, everyone wearing one of those things just does what they're told? This is wrong. Controlling minds, forcing compliance. You can't call that peace. You've all got to wear those things and obey the reigning visage's orders, right? That's... There is no need to worry, for we have located the Keystone. The Keystone? The facility that controls all of the many mausoleums throughout the world. You found the mausoleum's control center? But how? By interfacing directly with the Keystone, the bearer of the reigning visage is able to harmonize even with distant suppressors. The world will be joined as one. All differences will cease to be. Alfin. Alfin? Are you the one called Alfin? So what if I am? Nazamiel has been expecting you. <laughs> She waits further within this facility. You may proceed.
Huh. Controlling people's minds with those masks? I just don't get it. Why is Nazamil doing this? And if she's waiting for us, does that mean she knew we were coming? At this point, it would be better to ask her directly rather than speculate. Well then, that seems like a good stopping point since we are at 40 minutes. Uh, but uh, next episode we'll continue going through this crazy labyrinth that I'm sure we've missed stuff from because there's like, there's other sections back there that we completely missed that it just uh, advanced for us. So I'd like to go back to to try to see. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll find out more more comments more coming soon, guys. Stay tuned. Much more.